bars, the bars, the bars, the bars, the bars. I'm too persistent. Whipping cool, man. No cares. Get it on my own. No collab. Hey, we're back with the local football Fridays, man. I used to do them. They've just been on, off, on, off. But realistically, I can just add one video into my recordings and make sure I upload on the Friday and that, bro. You know what I mean? So we're starting off with Paul Scholes. Eh? You know what I mean? One of the um, one of the greats in terms of the midfield, in terms of football in general, and that. You know, and your favorite midfielders, favorite midfielder said by my like Patrice Ever in his um recent uh shoe um what do you even call it, bro? Shoe shopping thing on a what's it people called? Kick game and them thing that you know. What I mean? Let's get into it. Let's see what I'm going. And I always say this, bro. I only started watching football or liked football in like 2015, 16. So there's a lot that I miss. So this is also a good way to like clue myself up on you know. What I mean? what each legend was actually about and that, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, Patrice Ever was saying that apparently scores is like a horrible tackler, bro. And just clatters into you, fam, for no reason. <laughs> Paul scores, eh? The best central midfielder ever, bro. Shout out to man like um, Alex G and that bro, so this is kind of like a documentary type of thing from Sailors. Goal scored his first goal. Few who saw it would have thought that they were watching arguably the most gifted player of his generation. 1994. Mm. Fine header by Paul Scholes. But that goal at Portman Road in September 1994 was the first of many in a glittering career that spanned nearly 20 years. Come on. He went on to be at the heart of the most successful club side the country has ever seen. Come on, shout out to Man United, but that's a team of support. I guess I can have some joy watching these highlights, but not really in real life and in the current time. Yeah, is what it is, man. God, this is kind of weird because the volume's like going up and down. Look, I get the cinematics and all that, but let's get into this, man. Come on, man. Liquid Tech Tech. Showing us the little two two tappings and that, you know. Yeah. By a midfielder, you know, bro. Let nah, 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 nah. People got to understand, bro. Most midfielders are not doing this, bro. Most midfielders today are not doing this, bro. Oh my days. Je ne sais quoi. You know, je ne sais quoi. You know, eh. Bro. Me a post as well, but on some FIFA ish. Ooh, that dummy blood. It wasn't even a dirty man tap to actually. Though. This is a midfielder, you know, bro. A midfielder. Nowadays, when you see a midfielder and you saw the highlights and that, bro, you're seeing them in the middle of the pitch, bro, doing their thing and that. This is a midfielder, bro, scoring all types of goals and that, bro, dynamic with it. First time. Bending man to the shops, bro, selling man a dream, bro, and just slapping it. If I'm not mistaken, Patrice Ever said Paul Scholes is the most like talented player that I played with. He said most people would think that it's Ronaldo, you know what I mean? But it's definitely Paul Scholes for him, he said. It's the dribbling, the angles and that blood IQ, the passing, diags while falling as well, you know. Still got that in. Your footballers be going to the ground too much for me sometimes, man. The defenders end up. So that's the last resort. Sometimes stand up and you know what I mean, 50-50 the team, man. But man's in the midfielder, man's out here with a perfect partnership with Giggsy, man. Honestly, 18 of Paul scores, 107 Premier League goals were scored with his head. How tall is Paul scores, man? Looks a little short still. Oh 
Wait, was that a pass or was that just a drug shot? Nah, that seems like a drug shot, man. Man, like Andy Cole, bro. If you watch Filthy Fellas, type in Filthy Fellas and that, bro. Andy Cole was just on the podcast, wavy episode and that, you know, and you get some insight on man like Andy Cole asking him, asking him questions that you wouldn't really hear other people ask him as well, you know, eh? Not too professional. Man, them was just vibing and that, man, them thing. Hey, the way the defenders just, oh, he scored it again, man, you know, eh? I'm telling you, man, Man United were a nightmare, blood. All scored in a very, very good shape. He, he could do everything with the ball. He didn't lose the ball. He could pass it short, pass it long. He could score goals. Fantastic football player and a beauty to see him. Scalzi was a genius, absolute genius. The Marco you know, Lowen, you know. A centre forward's dream. You make a run and he put the ball perfectly in your path. He liked to tackle. He wasn't the, he wasn't the best of time in his tackles, but he was a tough player. And any footballer you ask will always say Scholes was one of the best players that they have ever played with. Oh, bro! I think he's one of the most underestimated players. I think in uh, in the world when he played. And I always said, you know, that's an interesting word, bro. Underestimated players. Paul Scholes. I think he's one of the most underestimated players, I think, in... Uh, he said underestimated, bro. So surely that doesn't have to, because if he said underrated, that's to do with the fans. Man said underestimated, though. So does that mean the players underestimated him? Or, you know, and that's an a interesting the word that you used there. And I always said, you know, if there's one player who could play easily with Barcelona, you know, with, with a small position and, and playing in small spaces, and, and then, then it's, it's Paul Scholes. Maybe it's because of himself, because he didn't like the press, you know, he didn't want to have all the attention. But I think if you see him play, it looks so easy. But do man, United are playing as well, man. Getting out of trouble and that. Because he's a unique talent. Look. He controls the tempo of the whole football match. And that's what's annoying. He needs somebody to glue it all together. And there was the glue in the middle. And that's, to me, is a unique talent. Best player I played was Paul Scott. He was just a step ahead of every other player on the football pitch. Not only in games, um, but also in training, he was, yeah, you couldn't touch him. I think Scores was uh, for me the best English player and one of the best Mala Uncle United Pat. player. He can do it. Oh, yeah, there's two Uncle Pats, bro. Patrice Evra and Patrick Vieira, bro. Martin. I was clocked that. Everything he does, he does simple, scores goals, scores tapping, scores headers. And I think he's he's up there with the best Premier League player Premier of all time. He, I've never seen him miss it a shot. Every time he hits it with his laces and training, he's just brilliant. Shout out to my Lee Dixon. Midfielders, through player-wise, player best midfielders, but didn't really get the recognition through media-wise. But, uh, you know, he was, he, was, he was definitely out there. Skulls was unbelievable, wasn't he? Yeah. At England, he, he done things that... I've not seen many players do. He was, he was incredible. Postal was just... I'm not gonna lie, I've been listening to these guys, whoa. I've been listening to these guys so much that I've kind of not been even watching the highlights, bro. Her head, in his head, it, it was... It was a ball, like, though. Just, her head, in his head, it, it was... That is a ball. It was making them tick. It was making Man United tick. Every time we were playing them, we needed to find a oh, way to Oof. And that's the thing, the way he dribbles as well, bro, that's probably why some people don't wait a minute. But it's not that flashy kind of, you know what I mean?
simple but elegant man I think he didn't get bullied as well, man. That's why I like. Man, he's not afraid to use his body as well. spray your ball blood or just seeing like pro footballers just spare balls along the field and that even just a simple diag or just a simple switch and that people don't really like give it much attention and that when you're watching games but bro the technique is ridiculous man i feel like ericsson was the last pure passer that i enjoyed bro he would be able to ping the ball from anywhere man I remember his shot blade, man like Ericsson bro, from the throwing line and that bro and he just curved bro, perfectly, I can't remember who was there, kind of like Pogba's shot when he was playing for France, just that perfect curve and it's ridiculous man, it's like someone's remote controlling the ball and that man. Outside of foot tech. Look at where he's passing the ball as well. Perfect passes, bro. Not ev everyone would, some people would have to like position their body in a certain type of way just to use the inside of the foot blood. He's using every single part of the foot as well, man, in different scenarios, man. Come on, bro. Look at that, bro. I'm telling you, man. Them little split seconds that you don't have to take to position your body or, you know, and adjust yourself, and that is vital, man. like that like balls like this people just like oh yeah it's just football man but bro you know how beautiful them these ones are crazy you don't really see them kind of passes that often now these kind of passes you don't see too often shout out to valencia man kind of missing out on that right wing looking baller and them thing there you know yeah about 25 and that. No, this is how you're passing FIFA. When you press L2 and you press like a triangle to do a lob through ball or just to do a regular um high pass and that this is the kind of skills that these man be doing and he's doing this in real. I ain't never seen anyone pass like this in real life other than just FIFA and that I've seen people scoop from the front but from the side like that, bro. Different. Look at it. That's a FIFA pass, man. Literally a FIFA pass. Trickery, bro. 
was like this just straight to the striker, you don't see too often man, people always spring it into the wing. I'm telling you, a person that plays goals, but the art of passing, the way he passes on that one is a lost part. Slap that. Because if my man didn't think that was going in, he should have kept him running. He should have just kept him running on the possibility that it, you know what I mean? it wouldn't have gone in. I feel like he would have got that. No, then I probably would have cut back here if this was me. This music choice as well definitely could have been better. Obviously this is a perfect way to see like what a player is about in terms of the way they're breaking it down bit by bit, category by category but I also like something about just just everything happening at once and I like just do a mix of things just mix everything in and if you're watching this as well you might think that yeah my man Paul scores is like an amazing tackle but look at you know in but yeah it was, it was not the case not the case so I'm gonna let it all, man Sound effects, man. Placement. Oh, these are interceptions. Right there, there is no need for him to go to ground. Now. But there's just certain people in football that just love to tackle. Not even love to tackle, just go to ground. I mean, they love a slide tackle, man. For no reason. And it's normally the people that are just very aggressive with no tackle. Paul Scott actually had tech. And that's what I like about him. The old school guys had the tech and also the shit house as well, man, to blend it in. Anyway, shout out to man like uh, Paul Scores and that once again. Shout out to Alex G as well and I'll catch you on the next one. It's your boy and Jives and I'm gone, man. Let me know who you guys want me to do next in terms of the legends or just any football video in general, man. In a bit, people.